I knew you would return before long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Calderasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? Enough. Listen to me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces, so it never finds its way back to me again! Stop! Please stop, father! I know! I've known for ages! I know why you threw away your crystal ball! You... you know? So you know about your real parents? Yes, and I don't blame you for their death. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Because you were just fortune-telling, just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but you were once a truly great fortune-teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Oh. Back then, there was nothing I could not see. The great Calderasha was known all over the world. I was walking on air. Fortune-telling was my life. It was my soul. I thought of be they good or bad, I cared not who asked me to use my crystal ball. I lived for the vision. It's all right, father. You're a good man. You took me in and raised me, didn't you? When I was just a helpless baby, I want to see it for myself. I want to see the great Calderasha in all his glory. I want to see your magnificent powers at work again, father! Oh, my sweet Valentina! <laughs> <laughs>